Hey y'all, um, I don't know if you can see what's over my shoulder, but if you can't, I got a special surprise for you today. Um, a buddy of mine, David Parker, he's got like a 66, that red one, it's got the uh, 5.7 motor in it. I don't know if you've seen that video or not, but anyways, I knew he had a Shelby and uh, a GT500, and I've been trying to get out here and shoot it from him, and uh, today was the day that I was coming out here. He said, well, my friend of mine just bought a 2011 GT500. Well, um, would you want to shoot that? I was like, are you crazy? So, anyways, uh, he hooked me up when I got out here. Uh, the girl that owns it, she was out here, and uh, she's not comfortable with being on the camera, so we're going to show her, show your car, her car, to you, uh, anyhow. So, uh, let's take a look at this thing. It's a 2011 Shelby GT500. It's the convertible, white with red stripes, which is a really, really nice looking car. It's got 400 miles on it. So she's had it, I think, about a month. And, uh, and she must not drive it much, but summer's here, so um, I'm sure she'll be driving it more. But of course, it's got the uh, Eagle F1s, which makes me miss mine. And uh, not that my tires are bad now, but. I'm a big fan of Goodyear. It's got like a satin colored wheel on it. Good looking. It's got Bremo brakes. Of course the decals are the Snake and the GT500. They kind of, uh, I like this interior. It's, it's cool. I don't know uh, how that works. How many colors are available or not, but um, it sure sets this car off. And it's got the Snakes in the seat. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm going to try to get closer so you can see it. It's got the snakes in the seat, which I think is cool. And they use a different leather. It's got uh, it's got like a suede right here, and then leather inserts too. Very cool looking seats. Um, very cool car. Of course, it's a six speed. This one's loaded. It's got the shaker system in it. I can see that it's got the uh, it's got the nav system, and uh, it's a six speed. I don't think you can get them in automatics. I think they're all six speeds. But a uh, very cool car, and uh, to be able to be able to come out and not only shoot one, but to be able to shoot two. Got David's over there too. I want to say his is a 2007. We'll get to that in a minute though. But I uh, just thought you would like to see this car. I mean, I really like the Shelby's, you know? I like that too. I like how that wing is. Third brake light up underneath there. I about that Mize Ford sticker. They may own Mize Ford for all I know. She says her car's got a dealer tag on it, so I wouldn't be surprised. But, you know one of the things too I like that they did recently, is they put the controls on the steering wheel. And uh, I wish mine had that, that's very cool. And then here, it's got the thumb rest. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's got the thumb rest right here. And then it's suede and leather too, so. Very cool car, you know. 160 mile an hour speedometer, seven grand tack. Very, very cool. Power seats, it's loaded. I'll get David over here and see if I can't get him to open the hood. David, would you open the hood for me on this? Let me see inside there. I'll tell you another thing I really like too. I like this heat extractor hood. At high speeds, my, my hood buffets like crazy, like it's gonna pop loose. And I think that if I had one of those type of hoods, that uh, that, that probably wouldn't happen. And then I noticed too, you know, I got the uh, HID lights on mine, but these these are uh, these are even different than that. So I don't know if that's a Shelby only um, deal or or what that is. It's got the splitter on it. It's very cool. Got a hood with a uh, combination lock on it, obviously. Wow, look at that. I love those blue valve covers. What motor is in this, David? Do you know? It's a 5.4. It's a 5.4. Mm -hmm. 550 horsepower. Yeah, sure enough. Block. There it is. It's Very few with aluminum blocks. Oh, no kidding. And you say how much horsepower? 550. 550 horsepower from the factory. Right. Wow. You could tune that one up, couldn't you? Mm hmm. It's got the cold air SVT, cold air intake. Of course, they sign them, you know, the builder of the engine signs them, which is cool. But it's got staggers on it. Dave was telling me that it's got 19s on the front and uh, 20s on the back. 
which is nice. Um, it sure improves the look, but uh, it takes tire rotation out of the equation, so that's why that's why I didn't do it. I'm not rich enough to do that. But anyways, I spend a lot of time, um, you know, just walking around the thing, but. You know, it being a snake and all, I knew y'all would want to see it. It's a 2011 convertible, so it's the latest and the greatest from the Shelby factory. And, you know, Carol does a nice job on the cars. And uh, this one here is no exception. Let me get up here and get a better shot of it. But, yeah, I wish, uh, I, wish I had an interview to go with this, somebody to tell us a little bit more about it. Another thing I like, too, is I like that splitter in the back. That's cool. So... Yeah, you know, I've never been one for the technical details, just the cool details, just the cool side of it. So there you go. Um, I hope you like it. I like showing it to you. Let's see what these are for. I think these headrests must fold down. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. So when you're driving around with the top down, you can fold them down. You got somebody in the back, you can leave them up. But yeah, it's a very cool car. Very cool. I like that too. And they put that little mirror in there. They make just enough improvements every year, it seems like. Of course, you get a little more horsepower with it, you know, every year. And then they just make some cool improvements to it to, uh, you know, make you want to come and buy a new one. So, anyways, 2011 GT500 Shelby Mustang. I knew y'all would like to see that. I know I like to see it. I wish I had one. Maybe one day. So. Anyways, I hope you all liked it, and uh, we're going to get out of here. I'm going to go over here and shoot David's car. He'll tell me a little bit about that. Maybe we can get an interview with that one. But anyways, I think uh, I hope you thought it was cool, worth your your time. Let me see the back. Huh. See, that's something you'd never guess. They don't put the big brake kit on the back. It's not all the way around. It's just on the front. I mean, that's where you do most of your stopping, but still. Anyways, I just wanted to stop by and... Uh, shoot a little video of this car bring it to you hope you all liked it have a good day i thought while i had the chance i'd get a few shots of it with the top off that looks good i like that black top on that and it really jumps off that is a good looking car that's the thing about the mustang top up top down doesn't matter looks good very cool and i love those wheels those look good but of course it's quiet can't hardly hear it run